Hello everyone, this is Suzanne at God Crochet and Chatter. Welcome back. Today, we are going to discuss what does it mean that we should not let our left hand know what our right hand is doing. It's a very good devotional. Something maybe we haven't thought about the true meaning of that statement. And we're going to do that today. And don't forget, tomorrow is the announcement of our giveaway. Yes, so that will be very exciting. So tomorrow, you might want to drop by and see if you are the person that wins. All right, let's get to our devotional. The old seller replied, 25 cents an egg, ma'am. She said to him, I will take six eggs for a dollar twenty-five or I will leave. The old seller replied, Come, take them at the price you want. This may be a good beginning because I have not been able to sell even a single egg today. She took the eggs and walked away, feeling she had won. She got into her fancy car and went to a posh restaurant with her friend. There she and her friends ordered whatever they liked. They ate a little and left a whole lot of what they ordered. Then she went to pay the bill. The bill cost her $45. She gave 50 and asked the restaurant owner to keep the change. The, this incident might have seemed normal to the owner, but very painful to the poor egg seller. The point is, why do we always show we have power when we buy from needy ones and why are we generous to those who do not even need our generosity my father used to buy simple goods from, from poor people at high prices even though he did not need them sometimes he even used to pay extra for them I got concerned by this act and I asked him why he did that then my father replied it's a charity wrapped with dignity my child when we're giving, we certainly don't want someone to lose their dignity. And we need to do it with a big heart and be a very cheerful giver. I thought that was a good illustration. I saw something on YouTube where one of the new things that is coming up, people are actually taking pictures selfish as, as they are giving to a poor person and posting it and saying, oh, look what I done. I was big and generous today. Is that what giving is supposed to look like? I don't think so. Now I got this from gotquestions.org and the question somebody sent in was, what does it mean that we should not let our left hand know what our right hand is doing? Matthew 6, 3 and 4. In the Sermon on the Mount, Jesus said, But when you give to the needy, do not let your left hand know what your right hand is doing, so that your giving may be in secret. Then your Father, who sees what is done in secret, will reward you. Jesus' command to give in such a way that one hand is unaware of what the other hand is doing is obviously not to be taken literally. The context suggests that the injunction to not let your left hand know what your right hand is doing refers to giving alms in secret and stands in contrast with drawing attention to our giving. Those who give in order to receive accolades from others has already received their reward, Matthew 6.2. God will reward those who give in secret. Of course, hands don't have a mind of their own, and a person cannot really hold, hide something in one hand without the other hand knowing about it. Jesus' illustration makes use of a hyperbole, hyperbole, purposely exaggerated to make a point. We should perform our charitable giving with such confidentiality that if, if possible, our right hand won't even know what the left hand is giving. And in other words, we should maintain an extremely low profile when giving gifts and performing acts of mercy. Modesty, not obstination, is a hallmark of a follower of Christ. Jesus' illustration of the left hand not knowing what the right hand is doing 
follows the serious condemnation of hypocrites like the Jewish religious leaders. In the previous verse, so when you give to the needy, do not announce it with trumpets as the hypocrites do in the synagogues or on the streets to be honored by others. Truly, I tell you, they have received their reward in full. Jesus also refers to these hypocrites in Matthew 6, 5 regarding prayer and Matthew 6, 16 regarding fasting. After dealing with three common religious practices, almsgiving, prayer, and fasting, Jesus is not to store up treasures on earth, but in heaven. For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. When we give with stealth, without our left hand knowing what our right hand is doing, we avoid the temptation of hypocrisy and lay up a truly priceless reward in eternity. Do Jesus' do Jesus's word, do not let your left hand know what your right hand is doing, mean that we should never let others know about our giving? Not necessarily. The focus is on the motive of our giving. Our generosity is to be motivated by our love for God and our focus on eternity rather than the temporary pr praises of people. Because of the temptation for pride associated with public displays of generosity, it is best not to draw attention to our gifts to those in need. You know, that'd be, um, you know, you're putting yourself on display when you boast about it and you you take pictures and look what I did and oh, but I gave it to the poor. You know, sometimes we need to look at things through the eyes of Jesus. And in fact, most of the time, all the time, we need to look through the eyes of Jesus and know that, you know, giving is such a blessing. I am more happy when I give than the person receiving the items sometimes. Like, hurry up, open up, open up. And I, I know I want to see the excitement and joy on their face. Not really trying to draw attention to myself, but but like, this is going to make you so happy. I'm so I'm so thrilled. I'm so happy for you. And uh, yeah, it's, um, it's pretty cool. So um, as you all know, I got my central knitting machine. I'm going to put it together over the weekend. And... I'm really looking forward to making hats, scarves, and ear warmers, some to sell, but probably a lot to give away to charity. And sometimes these packages might be mailed out to a different state, your own state. I'm going to look up local shelters and maybe the hospitals if they need baby hats, all that kind of stuff. But the thing of it is, a lot of these people that are going to receive these hats and ear warmers and scarves will have no idea who it came from. But... I know in my heart that many people will be blessed by it, and that just is fine with me. All right, I hope you've enjoyed that lesson today. I am um, going to fix dinner in a couple hours. I uh, had a phone visit with my pain clinic today, and uh, she suggested I increase my Tazidine to twice a day. Maybe that would help relax this muscle, but then it's kind of a slippery slope so to speak because sometimes it doesn't affect me and it does help other times I, I'm nodding off to sleep like this really made me sleepy and I don't like doing that because there goes two three hours of my day and it's like no I want those hours back because sometimes we have to listen to our bodies don't we all right God bless each and every one of you and I'll be back on tomorrow with the announcement of the winner of our giveaway. All right, you take care and you have a blessed day. Bye-bye.